Hello my friends and welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to talk about the Sim X Pro X80. It's the first profile rig that I review. I had had some comments in the past about why I didn't buy one of those and because the stability and configurability of those are just superior to others. The answer, well, is quite obvious. They are very expensive or at least in my opinion they are very expensive now i was on the second hand market and i found a very good priced uh, one so i decided to buy it and review it anyway as usual i will go over the various aspects of the seat and finish off with a conclusion for this rig the configurability in these chairs is phenomenal it is the best that i have ever tested and this is thanks to the use of the profiles in it you can adapt the height or the the depth of of of, of your steering wheel and everything very very easily starting off with the pedals there are five positions in the back and six positions in the front if you also can't letting it rest directly on the floor and there are also two grooves in the profile too that you can use I'm not particularly strong in mass, but I would say you have about 50 different positions on how to fix the pedal base. I was able to fix my TLCM pedals with three bolts on the deck and they were firmly secured. The seat can be adjusted with four different positions on the front and four in the back. For the back part there are some different distances possible to fit other chairs. Uh, don't mind the sticker on it, I just bought this second hand and those came free with the chair. And onto the wheelbase holder, it can be slid up and down over the length of the profiles and can be angled very slightly by tilting and fixing the middle profile where it is attached to. The Trustmaster TGT could be attached with the two bolts and felt firmly in place. So I, I will say building quality is good, but I did encounter an issue when I was building it. So I had like these uh, building cards and uh, on one of those building cards, there was like uh, the, uh, the, the wheelbase holder bar that you need to attach. So I attached it according to what I saw here. And then what I witnessed was the following. I thought this is not possible. I mean, uh, the, they always say uh, those sim rigs are so stable, and and and, and uh, then I have this. Uh, but then I investigated a bit, and I just added some spacers to the to the to the hole, and then it was without any problem. So it didn't move anymore. But I have to mention that um, when you're not so savvy in 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 building things building rigs that uh, well if it's not on your on your manual then you just don't do it so there's no spacers on here so i didn't add spaces and i had this uh, it's just after i added the space then it became good so that's something that's yeah perhaps n the manufacturer needs to take into consideration that not everybody that builds a profile knows what to do in case of yeah a problem like this Apart from this, I have very little to complain about. The 80 mm profiles that are being used look and feel very sturdy. They have a clean finish and no sharp edges. And the same goes for the 40 mm profiles that are included. They make for a very stable unity. The means of attaching the bolts to the frames is something I would like to mention too. Since it is my first review of a profiles rig, I don't know how it is done with others, but the T-nut principle with the little locking ball works fantastically well. It keeps the nut in place when you attach the bolt. Very handy. The matte back paint is also of high quality. There are some markings, of course, where the configuration is done, but in all, it seems very scratch resistant. The Sim X Pro GT seat is a bucket seat and of high quality. The back is made out of some polyester glass laminate and the upholstering is a soft, thick and durable fabric. Without doubt, it will keep you warm in the winter. The seat itself is uh, very narrow and is snug when seated inside it. For the immersion part, this seat must be one of the best I have tested so far. Features is something that you do not receive in a profile rig like this. I mean. When you buy it, it's bare bone, and many of you will look at the price of of, a, of the sim rig and say, "Yeah, okay, it's still manageable. I mean, it's not that expensive." True, 
but that is because there are no features on it the only features that i think is standard is the uh, bar that comes uh, where you can attach the shifter to and the, the handbrake for the rest everything is an option of course the fewer the features the lower the price if not having a gear shift holder means i will pay 20 euro less that would be a good deal since I don't need a gear shift holder anyways. So for this rig, not having any noticeable features apart from the 4080 profiles is not such a big deal. You have the display holder, you have the shifter holder, the, 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 the cup holder, uh, everything. Anything that you want, they have it with SimX Pro so you can add it to your rig. The seat also there is also an option, so um, and it's not a cheap one. So I think the prices vary uh, 250 and up for a seat, which is yeah. If you add it to the price of the rig already, it it's <laughs> it adds up. Um, of course, you are not limited to the, the 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 seats that you can find in the Sim X Pro shop. There are plenty of other seats that you can uh, can use to attach to this Sim rig. Uh, without any issue. The seat I bought came around 1000 euro with all the construction material and options included, which is a hefty price tag. But for those that would only need the rig and a chair, it can be as cheap as 559 euro at the time I am making this video. This brings it in the neighborhood of a playseat trophy. And in all fairness, the price is very reasonable in comparison to the similar GT Omega Prime or the next level racing GT Elite that both hang around 800 euro. Now you might have noticed that I have been very positive in the review of this chair, but in the title I mentioned that it was a terrible experience. Well, the terrible experience was putting it together. I bought it completely disassembled and where people buying it new get the correct bags with correct assembly parts and a note all together, I just had a big sack of nuts and bolts that I needed to work with. The available YouTube tutorial videos uh, were very limited and in the end not all that helpful and then of course the issue I encountered with the spacers. In all I spent more than 7 hours fidgeting with it and especially the seat with the rails was a major pain in the bottom. After it was finished, I think I spent 15 minutes just sitting in it and looking at an empty wheelbase holder. The conclusion I have for this rig is yeah, different than I had expected. It seems to be possible to find a profile based rig around the 500 euro mark and what you get for that money is very decent indeed. The barebone offering is uh, interesting for the Simex Pro X80 and allows you to cut corners where you want with the 120 cm by 68 cm dimensions it is also not as bulky as i would have thought after the experience i had with this rig i have no doubt it will score very high in my next edition of the seats countdown also just adding many manufacturers including simex pro are having various promotions for black friday it might be a good moment to look for a bargain if you are on the market for some hardware as always, thank you all for watching. Uh, if you had something from this video, don't forget to smash that thumb and subscribe if you want to see any upcoming reviews. See you all next video.